Eevee. This little guy might not look like much to you, but this Pokemon is a fan favourite in the community because it is one of the only Pokemon that can evolve into multiple different types. When Eevee was first introduced in Generation 1, it only had three evolutions it could evolve into. A water type called Vaporeon, a lightning type called Jolteon, and a fire type called Flareon. But in Generation 2, two more evolutions were added. Espeon, a psychic type, and Umbreon, a dark type. And then in Generation 6, another evolution was added. The fairy type evolution, Sylveon. But that was 10 years ago, and another evolution hasn't been introduced since. Fans have constantly been speculating about when and what the next evolution will be, because there are still 10 Pokemon types that don't have an evolution. So today, I'm going to be designing evolutions for every single type that doesn't have one. Without further ado, let's get started. First up is the Fighting Type Evolution. Now, Fighting Type Pokemon are known for, well, being good at fighting, they're one of the only like types of Pokemon that use like physical attacks, like all of the fighting type Pokemon moves are like punch or kick or body slam or something like that. So when I was designing this evolution, I wanted to design it so it looked like it could fight, but not that it could use any kind of like special powers or anything. One idea I really wanted to incorporate in this design specifically is I wanted to give this evolution like a bunch of scars all over it to show off that it's been like in a bunch of battles. So I actually ended up including that idea in the final design. I think the scars look really cool and they add to like the fighting type. You know, I obviously wanted this design to look like it could roughhouse and fight and stuff. So I trimmed some of, you know, Eevee's fur and made it a little bit rougher. Also extended its tail to make it more like sword-like is kind of what I was going for. So it could like potentially use it uh, in a battle as like a weapon. Uh, I kept kind of like the brown colors of Eevee because I think that kind of color suits the fighting type. I don't know, maybe it could have been like gray or like red or something, but I feel like red is too much of like a fire type color. So I ended up going with brown. I also gave it this cool like white pattern uh, down its like belly and legs and stuff. And I really like how that turned out. So yeah, let's take a look at the final design. This is Thrashion, the fighting type evolution. This Pokemon has seen countless battles and will never back down from a fight. So yeah, I love how this design turned out. I think it really captures like the fighting type essence in an evolution. Uh, I love the scars. I think it, it makes it look so cool. And yeah, overall, I just think this evolution design looks really cool. Next up is the bug type evolution. Now, I really wanted to base this evolution off of like an actual bug, which, you know, most bug types are based off bugs. That's why it's called the bug type. Uh, but yeah, I was searching for a while for like a bug, a specific bug to base this evolution off of. At first I was like, maybe I should base it off like a bumblebee or a wasp or something. And I tried that out. I think they look cool. Uh, I tried some other things like basing it off an ant. I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't, it just didn't feel Eevee enough. I did try basing it off a butterfly and I think that looked really cool. Uh, but then I found like this really fluffy cute moth thing and I was like oh my god that's like that's like Eevee. Eevee's cute and fluffy and this is a bug which is also cute and fluffy. So I ended up basing this evolution design off of this big cute fluffy moth. And yeah so that's what uh, this evolution is based on. I gave it this big fluffy exterior. It's got big fluffy legs and I kind of gave it these like little moth talon claws things. I don't know what moth legs uh, so that's what I gave it. Uh, I also gave it these giant moth wings and instead of where its ears are I replaced them with like these moth antenna thing. I don't know if that's what they're called. I think they're like antenna. But yeah that's instead of like having regular EV ears I wanted it to look a more like buggish and mothy so I gave it those things. And yeah let's see how it turned out. This is Flatterion, the bug type evolution. These Pokemon have a strange tendency to be attracted to bright lights. You might have noticed, but that Dex entry uh, is a reference to like how moths are attracted to like bright lights and stuff. And yeah, uh, overall, I think this design is really cute. I'm really happy with like basing it off of that fluffy moth. I think it fits Eevee like really well, and it's also like a really unique kind of bug type thing to do. So yeah, on to the next one. Next up is the Dragon type evolution. Now the Dragon type is a really cool Pokemon type. I love like lots of the Dragon type Pokemon. I really want to like capture its essence in this um, evolution design. 
Uh, so I end up basing this evolution design off of like an eastern dragon because I think they're really cool. And yeah, so like the main aspects of an eastern dragon is like it's really long, it's got this long tail. Uh, they've usually got these like weird horns, I could only like describe them as like reindeer kind of horns, so I added, I had to add those. Uh, they always have like these long manes that go all, all the way down its back, and also like this, I don't know what, these like yellow chest scales, I guess is what you could call them. So I added those into this evolution design. I also gave it these like dragon-like talons, and like the back of its feet. I tried to change the shape of it, give it an extra claw to make it more like dragon-like and reptilian. And yeah, originally I was gonna make this Pokemon like red, because you know, that's like the color of dragons, but I kind of didn't want it to feel like a fire type, because you know, red dragon, that does kind of sound like a fire type Pokemon. So uh, I ended up changing it to turquoise, which I really think uh, as a color like represents the dragon type a bit better. So here is Komodeon, the dragon type evolution. This Pokemon loves to collect shiny objects and tends to keep a hoard of them. So yeah, that dex entry is obviously a reference to like a dragon's hoard and how western dragons you know are known to keep like these giant treasuries and hoards of gold and stuff. And yeah, I think this design turned out really cute, really cool. I just, I love dragons, and I think I incorporated that love for dragons really well into this evolution design. Up next is the flying type evolution. Now, originally, I was thinking of basing this evolution off like a bird or a sparrow or something. I think those ideas were cool. I did come up with some other ideas as well, like making it get these giant, like holographic wings or something. I thought that was a bit over the top. Uh, I did come up with that, this idea of like, instead of it having regular Eevee ears, the ears were like wings. And I also gave it wings on top of those ear wings, and that ended up having like a biblically accurate angel kind of look to it. Uh, so then I gave it another pair of wings, so this Eevee's got the, the wings on its ears, uh, a regular pair of wings, and an extra set of wings, so it's got like, oh my god, and it's tail wings. <laughs> I gave it like four sets of wings. I might have overdone it, you know, but it is a flying type, it's meant to fly. This one can definitely fly with all those wings. Uh, but yeah, obviously it was inspired by like a biblically accurate angel with all those wings, and I think it turned out like really cool. So let's take a look at it. This is Angelion, the flying type evolution. This Pokemon is said to be extremely elusive and tends to be found hiding in clouds. I really like how this one came out. This one looks like so elegant and like beautiful and I, I really am happy with like basing it off of a bit of the accurate angel. I just think that's really cool for like a flying type. Especially these like giant angel wings, I just think that's cool. Uh, but yeah. Up next is the ghost type evolution. Now, ghost-type Pokemon are really cool because they're all, like, spooky and scary, uh, but, you know, they're still Pokemon, so they're still cute, so I really wanted to capture that kind of, like, spookiness, but still cute in this evolution, and I think I did that pretty well. I made some, you know, some interesting design choices with this evolution, which I think turned out really cool. Uh, one of them is, instead of giving it, like, a big fluffy mane and fluffy tail, I made those, like, made out of, like, tentacles. Uh, instead, this was kind of inspired uh, from like the boar god from Princess Mononoke because I really like how like all of those thousands of tentacles looked like moving and whirling and all that. I think it was just a really cool idea instead of just having like basic fur because I think the ghost type, uh, for this ghost type I wanted it to be like more scary and icky and I think having tentacles of fur is like a really fun way of doing that. Uh, also, instead of giving it regular ears, uh, it's a ghost type, I wanted to do something a bit more spooky, I gave it these like weird tentacle eye things, lumps of flesh that are its ears now. Uh, I don't know if some of you will be able to tell, but these kind of shapes I use are based off like Ghost Freak from Ben 10, because you know, he's a ghost and you know, he's got the spooky energy. So I kind of used him as an inspiration for this design. And yeah, obviously it had to be purple as well, because essentially all ghost Pokemon like purple, that's like their, their color. And yeah, let's see how it turned out. This is Nightmareon, the ghost type evolution. It is said that this Pokemon has the ability to manifest a person's greatest fears. And wow, I love how this ghost type evolution turned out. It's so weird and icky and gross, but cute. And it's just so cool. I love it. I think it really captures the essence of like the ghost type Pokemon. Before we continue with the video, uh, I'd like to quickly tell you about my Patreon. 
Currently I've got two Patreon tiers, and for as little as $1 a month you can see all like behind the scenes content from my videos and stuff, and a bunch of like early access art and work in progresses for videos. Like all these evolution designs were posted on my Patreon before the video came out, so you get cool early access to stuff like that. I also have a $10 Patreon tier, which will allow you to have your name in the credits of my videos, which you'll see at the end. Yeah, make sure to check out my Patreon, and uh, let's get back to the video. Okay, up next is the ground type evolution. Uh, I often confuse like the ground type Pokemon with the rock type Pokemon, so I kind of wanted to make this Pokemon like stand out from the rock type Pokemon. So I think like the difference between rock type Pokemon and ground type Pokemon is ground type Pokemon are like, they're often like good at digging. So I wanted to incorporate that in this evolution design. I found a cool way of incorporating that because I made its tail like curl up like a drill and I think this evolution will use its tail to like drill and dig which makes it a cool like ground type. Uh, you can also probably tell I was inspired by Cubone because I gave it like this skull mask and I also added this like skull things on the back of it, whether it's called like a spine, I give it like this cool bone spine. And yeah, my general goal with this Pokemon was to make it look like it would live in like a desert or really sandy area to make it more like ground type. But yeah, let's see how it turned out. This is Dustyon, the ground type evolution. This Pokemon can rotate its tail like a drill in order to dig at high speeds. And yeah, I think this Pokemon looks really cool, very much so like it lives in like a desert, which is definitely what I was trying to go for. And yeah. Up next is the poison type evolution. Now with this evolution, I wanted to make it look like really toxic and neon green and you know, just like at a glance you could tell that this thing is definitely poisonous or radioactive or you should not go near it. So yeah, some big inspirations uh, for this design is like the really poisonous frogs and stuff. I wanted to make it look like really shiny and kind of reptilian while also being like very radioactive and stuff. So I gave it this like cool furry mane that like glows a bright green, you know, for like to make it look radioactive and toxic and everything. I also gave it this giant reptilian tail. Frogs don't really have tails, so I guess it was kind of more inspired by just like general reptilian shapes. I don't even know what po what kind of creature has that kind of tail, but it's got that. It's like reptilian, very poisonous. I made it so like it seems like there's poison stored inside the tail that it could like use to spit out at you and everything. This is Blighteon, the poison type evolution. This Pokemon can create an acidic like poison that is strong enough to melt steel. And yeah, I think this this Pokemon, it looks cool. It's, it's really radioactive and green and that's what I was going for. I didn't want to make it purple because purple's also like a poison type thing, but that's too associated with like ghost types and like dark types. So I think green is a good like green and yellow is so like a good poison type color. So yeah, I think it looks really poisony. That's what I was going for. Next Pokemon. Up next is the rock type evolution. Now, my favorite kind of rock type evolutions are the ones that involve like crystals and stuff in their designs. Like, uh, Deancey is one of them. I think it's really cool when rock Pokemon do this. So I really wanted to incorporate this in my evolution. So I came up with a bunch of different ideas of how this evolution could like incorporate crystals on its body somehow, like if it was its tail or if it had like crystals on its head or around its neck or stuff like that. Uh, I really liked this design. I like it so much, but I didn't end up picking this design because I think it looks too much like another Pokemon, like not like an evolution. And it's also kind of looks like a fairy type because of the colors. I really wanted to do this design, but I just don't think it looked enough like an evolution. Uh, so instead I chose this design to move forward with. Uh, now what's special about this design is instead of having, you know, regular fur around its neck, it's got these like rocky boulders instead, you know, obviously because it's a rock type. And it's got these cool gems like on its forehead and also like that form its like tail. Like its tail was completely made out of these gems. And yeah, let's see how the final design turned out. This is Geodeon, the rock type evolution. It is said that every Geodeon grows a different kind of gem based on its personality. And yeah, I'm really happy with this design. I love how the gems turned out. They look so cool. And yeah, I just think it's a really good rock type evolution. 
Up next is the steel type evolution. Now, when designing this, I had a really clear idea of what I wanted to do. I just wanted this to be like an evolution completely made out of metal. That's what I that's what I was going for. Like a big inspiration behind this is like Colossus from X-Men. Like that whole thing of just like being completely made of metal. I, I really like the texture like they designed him with. Uh, also another inspiration is Melmetal, the Pokemon. I really like how uh, it's designed and how it's like how the metals are rendered so that was a big inspiration behind this. I didn't want this Pokemon to be just that basic that its only thing has been made out of metal so I also gave it like this gear like around its neck because I think that's like a cool thing for like the steel types. I'm pretty sure some steel type Pokemon have like gears around them. I think that like kind of suits the theme. So yeah let's see how it turned out. This is Geryon, the steel type evolution. This Pokemon is able to bend metal to its will by using its magnetic abilities. And yeah, I think this Pokemon, it looks really cool. Like a steel type evolution, I really like how it's just completely made of metal. Rendering metal is just cool. It just looks cool, alright? And the gear instead of, and the gear around its neck instead of like fur, that's kind of cool. See so ya. Yeah. And finally, the normal type evolution. Now, for the normal type, I really just want it to look like an evolved Eevee. Well, I, I guess all of these are like evolved Eevees, but I mean like like a grown-up Eevee because Eevee's already a normal type, so I didn't want to make any like big changes to evolving into a, another normal type. I kind of wanted to just make it look like a grower, like it grew up, like Eevee grew up, like Eevee's big. <laughs> uh, a big inspiration behind this design is just like dogs. I wanted it to look very dog-like, like kind of like a golden retriever, I guess. Yeah, I'd say a golden retriever is like a big inspiration behind this. But yeah, I think it turned out really cool. So let's let's take a look. This is Everion, the normal type evolution. This Pokemon loves to play and has a strong sense of loyalty towards its trainer. And yeah, I think for a normal type evolution, this is perfect. This is what I would want. I would just want it to look like a really cool, like grown up Eevee. I think it looks really cute and you know, very cool. And yeah, that's every single Pokemon type that doesn't have an evolution. I've designed evolutions for all of them. If you guys have like a favorite or there's any you particularly like or would like actually want to see in like a Pokemon game, let me know. Uh, I think personally I really love Nightmareon and also Thrashion. Those are just like two of my favorites from this bunch. I think their designs turned out really well and I'd actually love to see them as real evolutions in the games. But yeah, tell me which one you guys like in the comments down below. I'll make sure to like read as much as I can and hear about your guys' opinions. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Bye!